like that, you know it's short notice, you know it's a good performance change. What kind of goes through your head in terms of looking further down the what a win does for you, that kind of thing? Excitement, man. You know, like you said, a uh, win here I think puts me right there for the title contention. So, like I said, when I, when I got the call, I was excited as hell. Uh, you got back on track recently. You had that one pass for a few. You, you know, you had a long layoff, and then you had a few losses, but no better way to get back, back at it than the knockout. Can you talk about that opportunity that came for you your last fight and, and the season on? Uh, my new was coming. You know, I've been working hard. Like you said, I had some injuries that I wasn't able to get a roll on and had a couple of fortunate events, but I knew it was coming. It was inevitable, so Italy was a great time. You also be going, that was your first time fighting overseas, period, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. What was that situation like, and, and does it take a little bit more out of you, especially when you're coming off a stretch like the one that you had? Does it feel like you had more working against you when you went into that fight? Yeah, you know, it's crazy, you know, but I, I looked at it as an adventure, really. Um, I looked at it like I was traveling across the road and I was going to kick someone's ass. You know, I didn't look at it like any other fight. I couldn't because it, it was so different. The change of time, the change of everything, the food, everything was just crazy. So I had to look at it as a fun adventure. And you know, this week, obviously, St. Louis is exactly like Italy. <laughs> well, not really. But. Yeah, no, it's a little different, a little different. You know, it's just a hop, skip over. It uh, kind of feels the same. And like there, I felt like I was somewhere way different. Here, it's like another normal day. Talk a little bit about what Chandler brings to the table. Obviously, we know he's a former champ. You know the accolades, but can you talk a little bit about what kind of challenges he's going to present to you once you guys step in there? Yeah, Chandler is an explosive fighter. I look at it as one of the same, and I always have. You know, that's why I've admired his style because I look at us as one of the same. You know, so the challenge is he's going to bring the fight, and I love that. You know, I love fighting someone that wants to come forward and fight me, and that's when you see the best me. It's not going to be expected to. On paper, you're not expected to win. Let's just say that, and because of yeah. because he's a former champ, because you're coming in on short notice. Uh, do you love the opportunity to be able to play spoiler in a situation like that and, and really get your name out there even more? Ah, absolutely. And I mean, I feed off of that. You know, I'm going to go in there, I'm going into his hometown, I'm going to get blues, everybody's, his family, his friends, everybody's here for him. You know, and I, I feed off of that. I feed off of that energy. I feed off of showing people wrong. Biggest fight of your career without question, would you say? You know, I've always told everybody your next fight's your biggest fight. You know, that that's how it's been my whole career. You look at your next fight and you're like, oh, I have to win this and I'm fighting for the title. I can't lose again in a row. You know, it's every fight's your next biggest. But on paper, absolutely. Chandler's the, the biggest name I fought. I beat him. I knocked him out in great fashion. Great things are going to be coming my way. And is that how you see it going down on, on Friday night? You're going to knock him out? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.